Now then, I'm back. Just down in Peak District today. Gonna be doing the uh, Crow Mill and Park House circular walk. Weather's looking beautiful for it. A little bit cold at the minute. But it's just behind this Crow Mill. Yeah, a little bit nippy. I think it was minus one getting down here. Not the best, but it's supposed to be warmer a little bit later on. Once we see ya. No need for hills like this. As soon as you start walking. Absolutely ridiculous. Look at little lambs there, bless them. Hello. So we're uh, just coming away from Crow Mill now, just for the time being, so as we get up to Hollins Hill, see what that's about, and then we'll uh, I'll show you a little bit more then about this bit. Let's see how steep it is, eh? Probably one of my favourite bits about these little walks is, you know, all the quirky little bridges, little streams, stuff like that. It's just a uh, Keeps your walk interesting. It's nice. Owen's hill behind me. No special, it's just an hill. So uh, we're now on his way down to uh, Crow Mill. Just spoke to a local. I don't know if you can see it, just in the back here. They call it the Dragon's Spine. So uh, when we get closer, you'll be able to see just what I mean, yeah? Hello. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> Brilliant. Just coming along now to uh, Chrome Hill. And uh, from the looks of it, we're going to be in for a little bit of a treat. It's a uh, hell of a lot steeper than what I thought. So we'll see what, I, what that's all about, eh? There she is, eh? How good's that look? She, uh, the locals seem to call it the dragon's spine. So uh, you can uh, definitely tell why they call it that now, eh? Beauty. Just uh, heading up now. This is a... Uh, Fairly steep bit, don't know if you can really see it, but 
it's a fair bit to go up. Sharp views will be worth it at the top. But we'll see ya. As you can tell, it's fairly steep. First bit done. Now we'll proceed up to next bit. So we're there. Just coming along the ridge now. Also known as Dragon's Spine, according to the locals. But we'll get up this. We'll see what views are like. Look at that. Yes. A little bit of a footpath just here. We haven't come to take easy route today, so we're going up this. cave behind me only goes in about a metre just be some fun for kids if you want to bring them up here obviously not too young but yeah a little bit a bit more climbing we're getting there we're getting there Jeez, this just keeps on giving, does this? Look at that. Still more to go there. Eh? Beauty. Beautiful. We're going up this. So uh, we're just going to get to the top of that now and then that's Chrome Hill done with. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Little tunnel there. It's cool, isn't it? So uh, yeah, just on his way up now. And we are at the top of Crow Mill and just in the background is Park Hill. How nice is that?
So we're on his way down now to Park House Hill. A uh, bit of a steep, steep drop. So if you're a little bit bad on your knees, probably best to bring some poles or just take it steady. But young and fit lad like me, you're all right. <laughs> Nice little ridge walk, this, if that's what you're into. Just at the bottom now. And that's just the first part. It's gonna be a tough one, is this? I'm gonna to have to go have a look at that cave out. Gotta do. Come on. Come on. This is steep. All that excitement for an all that can probably just fit me bag. <sighs> now we're talking. Woo! Wow. This is steep. Woo! <sighs> By no means is this to be taken lightly. Wow. <sighs> yeah, it's steep. Jeez. Nice is this, just chilling out here with that beast behind. Beauty. Just about to get up now. So uh, we're not taking path. We're gonna uh, follow this little rocky scramble to the top. This is uh, by no means to be taken lightly. Jeez. <sighs> wow. It's a good little burn on the uh, on the legs. Woo. Getting there. Right up that now. If you do like a challenge, it's a, it's a good old leg burner. Jeez. So yeah, gonna get up that. Grade one, grade A, not quite sure what they call them. 
But yeah, it's a, it's a decent old scramble to get up. Stump Ridge now. Turn around steady. We're getting there. We're nearly there. That's Parkhouse Hill done now, so we're just going to head down, back round to the car. If there's a pub open, I will definitely be stopping for a pint, because wow, that knocks it out of you. I mean, just bumped into a nice couple then, and they're doing it, Parkhouse Hill and Chrome Hill. So they're doing it the opposite way to what I was, which, in my opinion, probably not as hard. But then again, it's entirely up to you, to you how you want to do it. Just be careful because the, uh, the limestone around here is uh, very slippy, very worn. So, uh, yeah, take it steady, no rush. Pluck it out views. Beauty. Just gonna uh, have a steady walk now. Big loop round to the car, going through uh, Earl Sterndale, I believe. And then uh, but at the minute we're gonna be going up to uh, hit a hill, walking past my little buddies. <laughs> yeah. This walk's beauty. Unbelievable. So this behind is it's a hill. Beautiful little place. Look at that little uh, place tucked up. Yeah, it'd be nice to live there, wouldn't it? There they are, Park Hill, Chrome Hill. Completed it, mate. A little bit of a fun fact for you. Probably not even fun, but... Uh, Cuomo, Parkhouse Hill, Wheeldon and Hollins. 300 year old limestone, exposed limestone. And believe it or not, this area was a tropical sea. <laughs> Crazy, eh?
little bit of a crazy route. Look at that. Pretty much going through someone's back garden here. Well, I uh, timed that well, just as I come through the, uh, the gate then, the uh, massive group of people about to uh, go do Park House and uh, Crow Mill. I'm not usually one for uh, busy walks, so I tend to get out early. I mean, I started this walk today about seven o'clock, quarter to seven. The only bird gets the worm. And you enjoy it better in my eyes. Bam, bam, black sheep, have you any wool? Take it well. Just on my way now to the uh, Top of High Wielden, and then we'll call it a day, I think. I'm on my way to the top of High Wielden today. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm on my way to the top of High Wielden today. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> about to start getting to the top of High Wheeldon. Pretty uh, steep incline. <laughs> See you at top. Wow. Just as steep as Park House Hill. Woo. <sighs> Nearly at the top now. I can just about see the top again. <sighs> yes, high wheel done, done. And uh just been speaking to uh, three scouts and lads, top lads, you know, good 10 minute chat with them, out doing the same as what I do, enjoying a nice walk, that's what it's about innit, get this in out, keep fit, meet some nice people, and taking in all this scenery at the same time, banging. Probably should have used a better word than banging, but... Probably not the best way to come down I wheeled it, as it's uh, whew, fairly steep. As you can see, look at that. There is easier ways, but I just like to be awkward. <sighs> High wheel done done. Now we're just gonna uh, steady walk back to the car now. About a mile or so left, so yeah. It's been a really enjoyable walk as this one. I'd uh, I'd recommend it to anyone this. This is hands down one of the best walks I've been on. So uh, yeah, get your send down here, honestly.
Just finished my work now, uh, got back to the village of Longnor and three pubs, all of which are shut, so can't even go have a beer. But yeah, if you're into your walking, definitely get yourself down here, because this is one unbelievably good walk. Challenging, but yeah, it's uh, definitely up there with uh, my uh, best walks that I've done. So uh, I'd like to just say thank you for watching. Hit the like button, give us a subscribe, and even drop us a comment, let us know what you think or where I should go next. Cheers, guys. Thank you.